What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm training arms. So I'm gonna show you how I get a real big arm pump and how to grow your arms too. Um, we'll get into that in a minute, but first I wanna show you my pre-workout stack. I've recently added the BCAA with nootropics for a little added clean energy and it really, I feel like goes the distance with me for the whole day, which is really nice. I have a dust reloaded. I'm gonna do half a scoop for a little added energy in the moment. And then I have hype reloaded. This is where the pumps come from. So it is going to, it's a vasodilator basically. So it's going to give you increased vascularity while you're working out. So I love the combination. So I'm gonna get this down and then we are gonna train arms. If you've not seen one of my more recent YouTube videos, I just got this rig from Jacked Up Fitness and I'm obsessed with it. There's gonna be a lot more content coming with it because I've been training in my garage gym because let's face it guys, time is everything and if I can get out here and get a workout in without driving 20, 30 minutes one way and back, I'm gonna do that. So this is amazing and it is my saving grace. So we're gonna start with tricep extensions. We're training arms today, so we're gonna focus on the bicep and the tricep. I know a lot of people, especially you guys out there, are gonna say that you love training biceps, that training your biceps makes your arms look so much bigger. And yes, it's good to train your biceps, but that other muscle group, the tricep, on the back side of your arm is actually a much bigger muscle group than your bicep, and if you train that and train that really hard, it gets jacked and it makes your arms look so much bigger, so much bigger than when you just train biceps alone. So let's get into it. So with this, I like to lean forward and really keep my elbows tight to my side. Some people get their whole arm involved. You really want to keep them nice and tight to really hit that tricep muscle. Right now I'm really light. I like to do a burnout before hitting a good rep scheme. So now I'm gonna increase the weight and do probably 12 to 15 reps each set. We just hit triceps, we're all warmed up. Now we're gonna hit some biceps. I'm gonna do some cable curls. Oh, I have it already set up. So I'm gonna do one real big set here and just get warm.
So I like this handle because it allows you to work and focus on the head of the bicep Ugh. versus like a hammer curl where you're working um, more of the whole bicep. It doesn't really focus on the head. So you'll see what I mean when I start curling. You can see my head of my bicep just start to push forward. Veins are popping now. So with this, it says a 12 to 15 and as heavy as you can handle it. Do about four sets. Next we're gonna do skull crushers. I'm gonna use an easy bar. I prefer the easy bar for skull crushers over like a dumbbell. Um, I think a lot of people just have these um, issues with their arms where one is stronger than the other, one might start failing. I believe that an easy bar allows for you to save yourself <laughs> if this goes south. Um, also, I think that the it, it helps your range of motion and your ability to keep your elbows narrow, which is what is so important in this exercise. You'll see when I start doing it. Keeping your arms nice and tight is really important. When you're using dumbbells, I think you end up moving around a little bit more. So the easy bar prevents you from doing that. So nice, narrow grip. I like to pinch my shoulders back so I have that stability on the bench. And keeping my elbows nice and high. And I'm gonna bend right at the elbow. Right to my forehead and back up. I've already pre-exhausted, so we're going right into the reps now. important to find a weight that allows you the stimulus that you're looking for. So we went 
lighter, a little bit more snappy on the two earlier cable movements. Right now we grabbed a easy bar. I want to go a little bit heavier and I want to push myself. So I don't want to finish eight to 10 reps and feel like it just wasn't enough. And I always do this with my clients. If my goal for them is to give them eight to 10 reps and they are moving <laughs> right through it and it looks like it's too light, I'm going to make them do some extra reps in that particular set and then bump the weight up. So you can add another set that's heavier and just not allow that to be your working set. Or you can add some reps to it so you feel like you worked out and then increase the weight. Like I went up, I went up like five pounds on that one um, and that felt so much better. All right, going into a, a cable curl, but this one's different in the sense that I'm using the rope attachment. And when I bring the rope up, it's going to act more like a hammer curl if you were using a dumbbell versus what we had done on the curls before um, where it was targeting the peak of the bicep. So you'll see what I mean in a second. But you can notice my hands, my hand position is what's mostly different here. my bicep movements I'm going for um, 12 to 15 reps focus today is going to be more on triceps but we're adding the biceps in because I want to work both sides of the muscle but um, 12 to 15 reps four sets of everything um, whew, I feel very pumped right now we're going to do for triceps we're going to do a kickback but we're going to use the cables versus a dumbbell if you only have dumbbells totally use a dumbbell but I like the cable because I feel like it's I feel like it's harder um, I think cables a lot of times are a little bit more challenging and I have a this handle I absolutely love it's awesome but when you're doing this you're going to want to go a little bit lighter and really squeeze the muscle at the top of the movement so I'm gonna lean forward, I'm gonna brace myself, get my elbow back to where I want it, and extend and hold. You're like a two second hold. <sighs> really trying not to move the upper part of my arm.
And so with this, you're really light. Your only rest is when you're switching arms and the non-working arm is resting while the working arm is doing work. I'm trying to hit 12 reps. I might end up at 10 here. Just burning them out. It's burning. Oh my God. So I'm really pumped up right now. <laughs> um, so the biggest takeaway from this is today I push triceps more than I push biceps. You should push triceps even more than you're pushing your biceps if you want your arms to look bigger and more toned. Those muscles cut up so nice, so don't forget about them. Make sure you're utilizing them. Make sure you're pushing them hard, and you can get a lot of extra reps and extra sets in with triceps, so make sure you're hitting them. Do not forget to hit your triceps, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Make sure you like the video, and I will see you guys next time.